Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well today I got a little different video for you. I got my cast net here. This is just a little five foot, six foot cast net I got at Walmart. Super cheap, it was like $40. And it's not even really in great condition. But I'm gonna show you how you can take a cast net and supply food for your family if times ever get hard or food gets too expensive because we know how everything's going right now. I mean, the way the economy is going and all the stuff we're hearing on the news about the food shortages, cattle dying, and all this kind of stuff. I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything, but if anybody's watching the news or you watch anything online, it is time to be a little bit concerned and start preparing a little bit. So, in this video, is going to be my way of showing you all how you can put food on your table pretty easy. guys i'm in the area and what i'm gonna try to target here is some mine cichlids because they're plentiful they're they're invasive species so it's not a problem how many you take i'm gonna see if i can get five or six but also if you're gonna do this cast netting some of the main targets the easier fish to target would be the mine cichlids some tilapia mullet just really easy food sources you can put some food on your table and they all taste good they taste really good I'm put my loop on my my hand here that way I don't lose my net and this is just a little this is just a little five footer it ain't real big actually maybe this one's a six footer yeah this is probably a six footer this one I've been using catching bait all kinds of stuff with it super easy to throw walk out here make sure I don't step on a snake because I been flip flops, and I have seen snakes out here. There goes a frog. There goes another frog, a bunch of frogs. I'm just gonna stand right here. There goes some lions right there. I'm gonna stand here and just watch for a minute before I cast the net, see if they're all being or bunched up or anything. Big frogs, big frogs. Got some lions right there. And also, since I am in Florida, and this is a body of fresh water, always keep an eye out for alligators. Especially in the summertime, you do not want to walk up on some gators. All right, I am not seeing any mines. I think I see one right there. So we're just going to take a blind cast. Sun's coming out. Maybe I'll get a good look at some. I think I see some right down there, but I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully I don't get my net hung up on anything, but we'll see. There goes nothing, y'all. See if we got anything. I think we got something in there. Oh yeah. All right, we got we got a couple. All right, that was pretty easy, guys. All right, we got some good size ones too. Got my wife Amber out with me today, driving with me. Well, they get hung up in a net. All right. See what we got here. All right, we got some good ones. That's a good size mine. That one ain't bad either. <clears throat> Neither is that one. All right. Whoop, where are you going? I got another one right here. This one. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six mines. All right. Well, I'm gonna take another cast. I probably just spooked the heck out of them all, but we'll see what we can come up with. Let's 
Okay. I think I got some in there that time. Oh, coming through the weeds. I got one. Oh, I got another good one. All right. Oh, maybe two good ones. All right. Not a bad one. And there we go. There we go, guys. There's a couple mine cichlids. Pretty easy, too. It only took me two casts. And that right there is enough. That's dinner. I can feed me Amber in summer with no problem. But we're going to take a little ride around here, see if we can't find some mullet. See if we can't catch a couple mullet as well. Here's a prime example, guys. I've been saying you gotta look for gators when you come to these little places. Here's one right there. Gator just sitting right there. That's about a five, five footer. Nothing huge, but you don't want to catch one of those in your cast net. So anytime you're around fresh water in the state of Florida, you always want to look out for those guys. All right, well, I'm going to take a cast right here because I did see some Mayans right here, even though there is an alligator right there looking at me. Let's see if we get anything. He's still just sitting there. I don't think I got anything. Oh, I got something. I got a mullet. Oh, we got a nice mullet. All right. That's one of the t other targets I was looking for. There we go. And that was just strictly a blind cast, guys. And I caught a mullet. And the alligator went down. Got to keep an eye on him. All right, well, I'm going to take another cast. Alligator went down. I don't know where he went. Hopefully, he's not over here. Hopefully he's not over here. Oh, I'm on a tree. Dang it. Oh, that does happen. Well, y'all, it's hung pretty good and I can't budge it. So, we're going to let the truck do it. Definitely going to ruin the net, but like I said, it's a cheap net. It was only $40 and I've had it for five years. I've definitely got my money out of it. See if I can salvage some weights off of it. But... We're gonna get it out one way or another. Well, all we got back was the rope and some tuck lines. So I'll have to come back here. Oh, I got more net back. Oh, wait a minute now. I got more than that back. All right. There we go. I'm definitely on something pretty hard down there. Well, that will happen. So, I'm going to just cut this and try to pull it. Well, we got most of it back. So, luckily I have more at home. I have about five of these. So, no big deal. But that's part of the hazard. Might as well show you the good with the bad. In the video because you're out here trying to catch food with a cast net you can end up ruining your cast net all right guys that's what we ended up with we ended up with a few mines and a mullet but hey in a tough situation that is dinner that is a meal 
And that was the purpose of this video is just to show you guys that you can just grab some of these cast nets, go out with little effort and catch something to eat. That didn't go 100% according to plan. We ended up losing the net, but that happens guys. So be, be prepared for that. I'm kind of glad it did happen. So it'll show you that, you know, that is something that could happen. So buy a couple nets, keep a couple of them on hand. I myself, I have, after that one, I lost it. I have five more. Plus I have bigger nets for other stuff. I have nets for shrimping. I have nets for catching big row mullet, for catching big fish. And I also have these smaller nets I use for bait fishing or instances like this. All right guys, well there's our fish. There's our Mayan cichlids and our mullet. So to make this video a little bit more interesting, we're gonna go ahead and do a catch and cook. So I'm gonna clean some of these up real quick and then we'll get to frying some. Well, all right. I'm actually gonna clean these in the house today because there's some people out there mowing their grass and it's kind of loud outside. I don't particularly like cleaning fish in the house and I'm sure my wife wouldn't like it either. Well, that's what we're going to do right now real quick. Let's make sure I clean up everything really good. Right here we got a mullet. And I'm not a big fan of mullet. I'm really not. But for survival purposes, and just to show you guys, they are a food source. Alright, well I cleaned that mess up, so now I'm going to uh, skin my mullet filet. Mullet are a fairly easy fish to clean. Just in my opinion, they're a messy fish. So I've never really been a fan of mullet. But their flavor wise, isn't too bad. Isn't too bad at all. Just gonna remove some of the pin bones right here. The rib cage goes up pretty high. All right, and there we go. There's two little mullet fillets. Now I got one of my Mayan cichlids. So we're just gonna real quick clean the Mayan. Mayan. Pretty easy fish to clean. These fish are super easy to clean. You can actually clean them whole if you like to scale them. Scale them and then gut them, head them, and fry them that way. And they're pretty good that way. But today I'm just going to fillet them. Fillet them out. Go over that rib cage. Just like that. And we got a nice little Mayan fillet. Skin it real quick. There you go. Nice little fillet. All right, we got all our Mayan and our mullet filleted out. That's quite a bit of little meat right there for just that little trip with the cast net. But I'm gonna make lunch for Summer and I, and this right here will be plenty. So all I'm gonna do is I use house archery breading. And I keep it in a bowl in the refrigerator for easy, it's easy for us that way. Gonna bread them all up, keep the fillets whole because they're small enough fillets. But this is gonna be a really good lunch. All right, I'm gonna get all these breaded. I'm gonna wait for my green light on my fryer and then we'll get to cooking these bad boys. Just a quick note while I'm thinking about it. Like I did in this video, how I got my cast net hung. Make sure if you guys get your cast nets hung, that you do everything you can to get all the stuff out of the water so you don't leave it in there and, and add more hangups for other people to get hung on, people to get their lines hung up on and just putting trash in our waterways. Do the best you can to get it out. Like I got my net back, all except for maybe a little bit of the rope with some weights on it. But other than that, I got 95% of the net back. Just make sure you guys do that. Just don't, if you get it hung, just don't leave it in the water. Real quick, I want to just touch on a side note while I'm waiting for my oil to heat up. If you guys get these cast nets and you go out there and try to catch you guys some food to eat, put some food on y'all's table, 
you know, right now we have laws in place. We gotta abide by those laws. Can't go out with a cast net and catch a bunch of redfish. You're not allowed to harvest redfish with a cast net. Snook, same thing. You're not allowed to harvest snook with a cast net. So make sure you know your laws, you know what you're allowed to harvest with a cast net and not. Because just because you're hungry, we do have laws in place, you gotta go out and do what you gotta do. You know, but if something was to happen, if we really do come into a, a crap hit the fan kind of moment and things are just super hard and people are gonna do what they gotta do. And this is a really easy way to put some food on your table. Not hard at all. I mean, look, I'm making a good lunch with just a, not even 30 minutes out of my day and I have food to feed me in summer. Okay, we got our green light. So now we're just gonna put these little bad boys in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all in here. I really don't have that much. So I think it'll all go in one shot. I got my oil at 375 degrees. And this should take eh, a couple minutes, not too much, because they're fresh. And they're really not that thick but let me tell you something that stuff right there is going to be delicious all right all my fillets are starting to float and they got a nice golden brown color to them so we're going to call that done i let mine drain a little bit i'll put them on our plate with some towel paper towel I'm going to hit it with some salt because that's what we like. Alrighty. Now it's lunchtime. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and grab the mullet first and try that because I'm not a big fan of mullet. So we're going to go ahead and see if my taste buds have changed at all. So here we go, guys. Here's a piece of mullet. That one's actually not too bad. Hot. I mean, really hot. That tastes pretty good, to be honest with you. A lot better than uh, what I've had back in the day. That actually surprised me a little bit. Wasn't expecting that to be good. So now we're gonna try some mine cichlid. Ooh, that was hot. <clears throat> try some mine cichlid. Beautiful white meat. These fish, to me, are amazing. If you like crappie, bluegill, anything like that, you'll absolutely love mine cichlids. And they're just as good as saltwater fish. I mean, this goes right up there with me with mango snapper, sheep's head, flounder. That is good. Really good. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just want something I wanted to put together to show y'all what I feel, in my opinion, is the number one survival tool that everybody needs to put away, stock away, keep it in their arsenal. Because if times were to get hard, if what a lot of people are saying, a lot of these preppers you see online and YouTube, if what all these people are saying is true, times could be getting really hard for all of us here pretty soon. I'm not sitting here saying that I believe all that. Do I think things may get difficult the way things are going? Yeah, I can see it happening. It does ha has made me have a little bit of concern and a little bit of awareness that maybe we should start preparing a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with preparing for bad things to come, even if they don't happen, y'all. It's better to be prepared than not to be prepared at all. So I want you guys to think about that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, go out there, get you a couple cast nets. These smaller ones like I used in this video are not expensive. You can pick them up for $40, $50. You know, you can even get a four foot net. You can do exactly what I did today with a four foot net. Four, five, six, seven, eight, any of those kinds of, you can even get bigger nets. But with bigger nets, you cover more area and you can have more, more chances to get hung up and losing your net. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a comment. See if you like these kind of videos. Maybe I should do some more videos like this. Let me know. Until we see y'all again, 
Ty Lyons, Jetty Rockers. Be seeing y'all real soon.